This episode of the Dead Mall series is brought to you by NordVPN. Take control of your internet experience today with NordVPN. Right now you can get a two-year plan at a huge discount, plus one additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash danbell. came down to check out the fair. Oh yeah, the psychic fair. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. I was down there before. You want to get a reading? I don't know. Can I do that? The lines are really long before. I get you in. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, well I was just about to take a break for lunch, so... A lot of... I used to do a lot of tennis. Actually, I, recently I started writing. My brother's a professional musician. I feel very lucky to have found her. It's it just it's going exactly the way that I want it to. She says, you haven't been exercising enough like you used to. And she said, you got to get back to that. And she's absolutely right. It's something I've been feeling for the last uh, few weeks. Psychic Network, extension 5844, this is Sandy. Girlfriend, it's time for you to lay down. Hi, Jean. Yes, Sandy? Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you, even if it's over the phone. <laughs> I've been a fan of yours for a long time, and I'm happy to be of help to you today. Do you have any special question or uh, area well, of concern you'd like me to focus like on today? Girlfriend, <laughs> it's time for you to lay down. Um, right now, um, it's getting a certain family matter in order. Be the best yes. support um, and the best love for them. Girlfriend, it's time for you to lay down. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and it's that time of year again where we're going to be shopping online, going shopping in stores, using public Wi-Fi. When you're on an unsecured network, this time of year, hackers are looking for everything they can find. Hackers are online searching for their own presence this holiday season. Don't fall victim. If you are on an unsecured network and you're using public Wi-Fi or even your home Wi-Fi, you're not protected. With NordVPN, all of your internet data is safe behind a wall of next generation encryption. They won't track, collect, or share your private data. It's none of their business. Nord will work across all of your devices and it's easy as pie to operate. Simply search for a server, click on it, and you are protected. It's that easy. Take control of your internet experience today. Right now you can get a two year plan at a huge discount plus one additional month for free when you go to nordvpn.com slash Dan Bell. That's D-A-N-B-E-L-L. And don't worry if you don't like NordVPN, it's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Once again, that's nordvpn.com slash Dan Bell, D-A-N-B-E-L-L. I want to thank NordVPN for the continued support of the Dead Mall series. And since it's Black Friday, well, it's time to go to the mall. Let's go. Hey everyone, here we are in Garfield Heights, Ohio, at the City View Center, a power center where they opened many big box stores, and they built this place on top of a toxic garbage landfill, and unfortunately it started to sink, the entire shopping center started to sink into the ground. So all the brands, all the stores, they pulled out. But Radio Shack actually went down into the dump, into the landfill. And that's where they are right now. Burning in the messy. Hey, do you think this is methane? Or is it just rust? I don't know why Jake 
thought that methane stains concrete. It's, it's, it's gas, Jake. But anyway, I digress. Jesus. Here we are entering oh an abandoned God. Walmart. This is un- and this was a very strange site. I've never seen an abandoned Walmart before. And I'm hoping if you're watching this video, you haven't Pharmacy. seen one either. But let's go have a look around. I'm going to keep quiet through this one. Very interesting. Enjoy. I hope this isn't like a premonition of the future. Will all Walmarts look like this one day? It is really, really unbelievably creepy to see this. Oh, this was, uh, no, it was vision, uh, the vision center. seen in my life. Horrible. I mean, just completely worthless graffiti. Still portrait studio. I doubt there's anything in here. Oh, here's the old, uh, where they put the backdrops there. But, uh, yeah, it's just... This is bizarre, seeing this. Uh, because it's, it's like... It closed, I mean, it's not because of financial reasons. It closed because, you know, the dump underneath of this place had pockets in it that collapsed when they started building all these, uh, these stores here. And, oh, here's Subway here. This is where the Subway was. Wood Forest Bank. I always wondered if they have a, does a bank like this in Walmart have a safe, like a walk-in safe? No, they don't. Hmm. I don't see any safe anywhere. Maybe they kept, maybe they had safes under here. Maybe they had saves under the counter here. This place is enormous. Must have been a uh, super Walmart. Or actually, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just a... Yeah, I don't think it was a super Walmart because it would have had... Uh, an area with like uh, refrigeration units and stuff. I don't see any uh, area where that could be possible here. So it's probably just a, a regular Walmart. This 
was the electronics department. So up here is where they would have hung the televisions. You can see all the outlets up there. So this is where electronics were. Away. Site to store. I'm not quite sure what that is. I mean, oh, it, you probably could buy. You can probably buy stuff on on the website, and then they they uh, you can pick it up at the store instead of having it shipped to your house. That's convenient. I didn't know Walmart uh, did that. Walmart sink, which you see these in every Walmart, these, uh, this style of sink, and then people are just back here busting up the urinals. Now this here is a, is this a refrigerator? No, no, this is just uh, electrical. And here we have stock ring. Here's a eye wash, an emergency uh, shower in case you get chemicals on you. There would have been a shower here to immediately rinse yourself off. door here. Um, I guess these are from fire inspections maybe uh, since this is a fire door but uh, you have one here from 2008. So this place 2008. So probably we're looking at uh, 10 years this place has been closed. Are you sure? Yeah, listen to it. I mean, these, these are all cut up there, but. Something. I think you're hearing highway noise. No, something's on in here, I'm telling you. Listen to it, you can hear the hum. Let me see. If there's some, if there's electrical, Still running in here. I'm not stepping on any of this shit. Yeah. It is. I can hear yeah, it. Yeah, it's on. So something's still. There's still something powered in this building, or at least in this unit. Can you still hear the hum? It's not as loud over here. Yeah, so it must be like one of those there yeah. breaker boxes is probably still running, which is weird. I, you would think they'd cut the power for the whole. I, all of these cords Shopping are cut. Side. I wonder what it is, though. I wonder if it's just a, an amp or something that's... It could be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. How <laughs> depressing is that? <laughs> 
What is this that? is some of the most bizarre. Like I never thought I would ever go into an abandoned, abandoned Walmart. Walmart. That looks like this. Nice. Stuck in the bottom of my shoes. Little mouse infestation here. Mm, yep. Jesus, that's a lot of mouse shit. I'm gonna get fucking diseases being in this room. There's a roof access. The. Here's their attempt to keep the doors uh, secured from the inside, but people have figured out how to get in here naturally. There's a whole bunch of... Oh, this is crazy. Juniors, Lawn and Garden, Active, Paper Goods, Crafts. And then these giant, these are from the electronics department. You have Samsung, uh, Vizon or Vision, I forgot how you pronounce that. Uh, Verizon Wireless. Here's Pet over here. All right, here we are in the auto department. Here's the counter, and then in here is the uh, work area. I guess a lift would have been there. Huh. All right, you're gonna hear. A lot of glass popping under my feet. There's a parking lot. Garden Center is growing its own garden. That isn't that unusual. Look at the splitting there on this uh, on these concrete slabs. So this is behind where the Payless shoe store is. You can see it right here on the door, but methane gas, this is from the dump, from the garbage underneath the ground. And this is a vent for it here. So the they have these relief vents so it doesn't explode. But the methane comes up here, goes up here, and then exits up at the top there. And this is probably know if it's still active or not I don't think they it looks like some they uh they undid it there but uh yeah this is let me get a peek inside here oh they removed they removed the fans and everything or the the you know the ventilator that would bring the the gas up look at this so this is how far the concrete, just to give you an idea of how far the concrete has sunk. So this concrete here, this asphalt, would have been here, but it has sunk down. So it's about, right here I'd say a foot and a half that has sunk down. And that's happening around the entire perimeter. We're behind Walmart and where Circuit City was. The entire perimeter here is sunken. Uh, 
even inside of Walmart, there's some floor, um, dipping floor. So you see a slope in there and it's because they unfortunately built this on top of a landfill. Just look at all this stuff. All you know what the land. you know what the crazy thing is too? If you look at that transformer there, mm -hmm. that is sunk down yeah, with, that's the going down with the concrete. So tar. you can see this black mark here. That's the tar where they sealed the asphalt to the foundation of the building. This breaker box here, it, it is sunk down, I'd say over there, two or three feet, because you got a hole down inside. So everything here is sunk down, including that breaker box. Five, 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 seven, 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 seven. And for young people watching this, this is a phone. An old school telephone. Girlfriend, it's time for you to lay down. Here we are in Flint, Michigan, outside of a big Kmart. Former big Kmart. I am not sure when this particular location closed, but I believe that this was part of the Kmart. Here we are inside the because it was in the same building. Old it just looked Flint, like they built a wall. Michigan Kmart. But anyway, let's watch this. You can hear the natural sounds. And I'll be right back. The, uh, shopping carts there. And here's some kind of a sales counter. I don't know if this is, um, was the garden center maybe? Or auto? I don't know. There's just water dripping out of the ceiling there. I don't know when this uh, Kmart closed, but Whew, it's hot as hell in here. This is just a storeroom. It's empty. So the one thing about this is I don't know if they consolidated the space. But through here is another big part of the store. And it seems they walled it off. So, so I don't know, it's not very big. Okay, we're trying to get little uh, sort of uh, clues as to what this space may have been. It may not have been at the actual Kmart, but we have Dollar Tree, United Hardware, Ames. Toys for us. Toys R Us, Home Depot, Bed Bath and Beyond, and Home Place. A whole selection of carts. Ew. Oh, there's some, let me look in here real quick. Huh. Oh, these are all for food. Oh, damn. Microwave.
stop the shrink bug. Think shrink. Yeah, I don't think this was uh, Kmart. Man. A few roof leaking problems here. It's time for you to lay down. Here we are outside the mall at 163rd in Miami. A struggling mall, but it still has business. The Marshalls and a Ross. Now, the reason that um, I don't have the full video is because the phone that I shot this on, um, I traded it in to buy a new phone and it wasn't finished uploading to the iCloud. So I lost half the footage. And instead of uh, just scrapping it, I decided to put it here, just the little bit of footage that we have. But there's still some interesting sights. Look inside this store. Looks like it was uh, shoes and uh, apparel. You know, it's sad. Sometimes I um, film these malls and I'm so excited about the video and then all of a sudden I realize that uh, I lost the footage or it's lost in a file somewhere and I can't find it. Happens a lot, but it doesn't happen anymore because now I'm much more organized with footage that comes in. But uh, six years of YouTube um, has, uh, I have acquired quite a, mound of footage so things need to get organized here we are going to look into this um it looks like a clothing store but i love that center thing there very strange some gorgeous fake plants my favorite There's a view of the uh, main hall in the mall, and then the uh, escalator here. There are marshals. It's, this escalator is enormous. And here we're going to look into this uh, old lens crafters. This place has been closed for a while. Look at this place. This lens crafters has to be 20 years, 25 years, maybe when they look like that. It's a very, very uh, interesting sight to say the least. Okay, with that, this is our last peek. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'd like to take this time to thank all of our guests. And remember, all it takes is a telephone and, and an, an open, open mind. mind. Good night.
friend, it's time for you to lay down.